Welcome to my world. This is Let Us Eat, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Let's take a moment and smash on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to smash on that bell. Thank you so much to everybody who supports me and watches me on a daily basis. We did it. We got to 3.0 watch time hours, which is huge and a huge, huge accomplishment for YouTube. We're going to go into my kitchen in a minute, and we're going to make three different delicious two dishes and that you've never may have thought of before. I've been scouring Pinterest as well as Google for unique and delicious ways to dress up tuna fish. Tuna fish is inexpensive and it's a great way to go and you can do a meatless Monday with it because the fact that it's fish or if you don't like meat this could be a great way to add to your meal planning board one of the three dishes that we're going to do. We're going to do a delicious tuna bake with bow ties and tomatoes. We're going to do a classic tuna melt and a dill pickle tuna salad. Now I took the time to modify all of these recipes to my tastes as well as my family's. So they're not going to be exact from the ones I found on the internet. And I've made them my own. Plus some of them were similar to my grandmother's recipes. So I added in her touches. Let's go into my kitchen and get cooking. First thing we're going to do is get the bow ties boiling for the pots to bake. You can just put them in a casserole dish with hot water, but I prefer to cook them first. Just cook them part way so they're not mushy. Take your big stock pot and fill it three quarters of the way full. You're going to put it to high heat to let the water come to a raging boil. And then we're going to turn the oven on to 350 degrees and get that preheated as well. Get your oven preheated. 350 degrees. It's a nice cool day for June. Unlike the rest of the U.S., we got lucky, but we're getting our heat back towards the end of the week. I'm going to get the pot put it on the burner. and turn it on to high heat. Always make sure the proper burner is turning on. I'm going to grab a wooden spoon to rest over it so it doesn't volcano effect all over and add some salt. Just a couple of teaspoons is all you need. For this pasta bake, you're going to need the bow ties and two cans of the tuna. Crushed tomatoes or diced tomatoes, whatever you have on hand. You need mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, and garlic, black pepper, and salt. Very easy to do. I'm going to take this over to the other countertop so it's ready to go into the pot once it's at a full boil. Then we're going to cook them till al dente, about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're going to drain them. In the meantime, we're going to prep the casserole part. The recipe calls to drain the tuna as well as the crushed tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is use a colander for the tomatoes, and I just use the lid of the tuna can to drain the juices from the tuna. But I always add in about a teaspoon into the dish for flavor. Go ahead and add in your crushed tomato. If you see the container to the back of the counter by the bread box, I took out about a cup of the crushed tomatoes because there was a lot of them. Although the pasta is going to absorb a lot of it, and as well as the cheese, 
I don't want it to be too soggy, so I'm going to reserve about a cup of that for my Italian night, Wednesday night, and just put some clean wrap on it and use it in the crock pot. A teaspoon of tuna juice for extra flavor. For spices, you're going to need black pepper, garlic, and Italian seasoning. Now to add the second can of tuna. Completely drained. Go ahead and dump in the second can of tuna. I'm going to add the spices and mix it. I have my spices all ready rather than dicing up an entire onion. I'm going to use my onion soup mix. However, if you have high blood pressure or any kind of health issues, check the contents on the package to make sure that they're not going to interfere with any of your medications. About a tablespoon. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to do three teaspoons of Italian seasoning, garlic, black pepper, and just a dash of regular salt. Nothing fancy, no kosher. My black pepper garlic, I haven't opened yet. I want to use these up beforehand. I'm going to add the rest of the seasonings in. But first, we're going to dump the pasta into the water. The water is boiling. Go ahead and dump it in. Give it a good stir. And let it cook for about 10 to 14 minutes. Because it will finish cooking in the oven with the cheese and the tomatoes. I'm going to start with the Italian seasoning. Hey guys, look, all you regulars, a different spice. Just a couple of teaspoons, two to three. Two to three garlic. Three of black pepper. And a dash of salt. Now we're going to mix it up well. I'm going to add in Parmesan, then the bow ties, and then the mozzarella on the top. Now always, always, always season to your own taste. This is just suggested from the recipe. Add in a generous amount of Parmesan. About a cup. not going to mix it in. You're just going to let it sit there. And as soon as the bow ties are done, we're going to pile them on top of the dish here. Then layer it with some mozzarella. Moving the pasta from the heat because they're just about al dente and they'll cook the rest of the way in the oven for you. I turned the heat off my stove top. The oven is preheated now. Go ahead and rinse. Stubborn one there that doesn't want to come off. Let the water run on it for a second. Grab my wooden spoon. And we're going to use half of these on the tuna pasta bake and the other half we're going to use in a dill tuna salad. As I said I modified the rest. I didn't add in half of the pasta. I have a pasta grabber. My husband loves this thing. You're going to hear my husband in the background very loud. Just put half of that onto this tuna pasta bake. The other half is going to go into the dill pickle tuna salad. By reserving some, you're saving money and using one entire box. I'm going to add cheese to cover the entire top and take your fork out of the dish there. 
and we didn't mix in the, the Parmesan. We let it sit and melt naturally. About a cup to a cup and a half of mozzarella or whatever your favorite cheese is or whatever cheese you have on hand. By using what you have, you're going to save money. We take some black pepper and garnish it, as well as a little bit of garlic. I just twice I opened it on the correct side today. Yay me. Now this is going to go into your preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until the cheese is all bubbly and melted all the way through. Here's a close-up of the before of the tuna bowtie pasta bake. Modified to my taste and add-ins from my grandma's recipe. Place it to the center of the rack for best results. At least and that's what I do. I'm always barefoot. Even in the winter, I do have slippers, but it has to be really cold for me to wear them. I'm not a fan of socks or slippers or anything on my feet, unless they need to be. Time it for 25 minutes, and then we'll take a look at it, and you'll see a final picture. It's going to be a tuna dill salad. We're going to use the rest of the bow ties that we've cooked for the pasta bake. One can of tuna fish drained, a teaspoon of the tuna fish juice, black pepper, garlic, and salt. I'm going to use a dash of salt, black pepper, and garlic, about three teaspoons. Always do it to your taste. I'm going to chop up some pickle and add some pickle juice, mayonnaise, as well as some onion soup mix. A couple of big spoonfuls of heaping mayonnaise here. and drop it right on into the bowl with the spoon. Now we're gonna open up the can of tuna, add a teaspoon of the tuna juice, whatever type of tuna you have on hand. I'm only gonna do one can for this. You can add on as many cans as you need for your family. Just about a teaspoon. Fork. And grab all that tuna, dump it on top of the mayonnaise. You want to do fresh onion for this? They said minced. Add your garlic salt, a couple teaspoons. It really adds on awesome flavoring for the tuna. I'm going to do three black pepper because it's my favorite and I cannot live without black pepper. If we're out, I will not cook. Just about a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of the onion soup mix. And we're going to mix it well. Add in about a teaspoon of the pickle juice. I'm going to use my kitchen shears to cut up the pickles. Take your pickle and just cut them. I'm using whatever pickles I have available. You could do homemade if you wish. The pasta is going to absorb everything at the bottom of the bowl here. It's going to be a delicious. Let's go ahead and dump in a couple cups of the bow ties. I'm going to save the rest for my kid to snack on for lunch. They like plain pasta. Go ahead and mix. And the tuna dill pasta salad is done. Perfect for picnics and potlucks, family gatherings, barbecues. There's always at least one tuna dish available. It is inexpensive, few ingredients from your pantry. That looks incredible. Now to the tuna melt. This last one is the tuna melt. Everything from my pantry once again. 
one can of tuna fish, add on to your family size. Cheese, I have great value American cheese slices, loaf of bread. I keep wax paper and cheese with the Ziploc bag because the deluxe kind aren't individually wrapped. And that way they stay fresher for up to a month. I'm gonna use a spear pickle for a side and a little bit of the pickle juice within the mixture, garlic, salt, and black pepper. This video I've actually used salt and I don't cook with a lot of salt. While the air fryer is preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the tuna and dump the tuna into the bowl here. If you watched my video on air fryer tuna patties, those came out incredible, or tuna burgers, whatever you wanna call them. Go ahead and dump the tuna into the bowl. Make sure you get all of it. I'm trying to get my kids into tuna. My husband will not eat it. I'm going to add a little bit of the garlic. Just about a teaspoon. A couple of teaspoons of black pepper. dash of salt, and just a little bit of pickle juice, about a half a teaspoon, and then you're going to mix it. I'm going to add in a little bit of mozzarella cheese, make this uh, two different types of cheeses for the tuna melt. Go ahead and add in your cheese, Colby Jack would probably be really good with this. I have mozzarella, we buy it bulk, that's all you really need couple of tablespoons. Go ahead and mix. I'm going to have my pickle on the side with this. That's why I add a little bit of pickle juice. You can add tomato slices. Go ahead and add a cheese slice each. And then we're going to put our tuna mixture right on. up your sandwich. I'm going to spray the bread with a little bit of butter spray as well as the chamber for the... Go ahead and spray. This is where the butter pats come in. I'm going to put a couple of butter pats on at the top of the sandwich. We're going to flip it and put butter pats on the opposite side. I'm going to do about three minutes flip and three minutes. Six minutes total at 370 degrees. Place your sandwich on in. Raise it up so you can see. Three minutes. I put it to four because when it gets to one, I'm going to put the drawer back out and then flip it over with tongs. My plate ready here, and I have my tongs. I'm going to go ahead and take a peek. Uh oh. Good thing I left. You need to be very, very careful. You don't want to get burned. All right, let's use a spatula. All ready to go. It's only going to need two minutes per side, not three. And then we'll be done. Go ahead and remove your tuna melt. The butter is all nice and melted. And lift it out. The tongs were good for the bread not being on the sandwich. So that way I was able to retrieve it. The cheese melted absolutely perfectly for the tuna melt there. I'm going to show you a close up. Here is the tuna pasta bake. 25 minutes melted the cheese perfectly. Look at the little bow ties. Oh my goodness, it is awesome. I've never made my grandmother's recipe before. I'm so thrilled with how it turned out. And this is gonna cool way down. Go into a container for the freezer for a heat and eat night or mom's choice. 
Here is the modified dill pickle salad with tuna and bow ties. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. Perfect for a barbecue potluck or picnic, as I mentioned. Real easy with all ingredients from your pantry. Here is the tuna melt, and look at how beautiful it is. You don't even need sourdough bread. Just white bread will do just fine. It crisp up. The tongs worked great for retrieving the bread that got away from the sandwich, but use a spatula to flip it over and only do it for three minutes and then flip for two to make sure all the butter's melted, it's toasted all the way through, and the cheese melts all the way through. Real easy to do, all ingredients from your pantry, and I did omit the onion soup mix because I felt it was flavorful enough, but go ahead and add in your tomato if you wish, as well as fresh onion, about a quarter of a cup each. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching me all the way to the end. We're up to 3.0 watch time hours. Thank you so much, everybody. That is a huge accomplishment for my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. We are looking for 25 people to give out one five items price pack from the Dollar Tree, valued at $6.25. When we get to 1,600, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. The rules are if you're new, make sure you comment in order to be qualified. Let me know that you're new. You need to be a U.S. resident and subscribed. That applies to everybody. The regulars know that they need to be subscribed and a U.S. resident. If you haven't tapped on that bell yet and you've been watching a long time, make sure you do so you don't miss a single video. If you are new, check me out. Smash on that subscribe board for more great recipes like these with the air fryer or your oven or a no-cook one. Three great tuna dishes you may not have thought of. One of them from my childhood from my grandmother. That I modified to what I had in my pantry, and I cannot wait to try it. Tuna milk, I'm going to eat in a minute. Thank you, everybody, for your support and ongoing viewing. It's really appreciated from the bottom of my family's heart. Thank you for watching.